English 6, Quarter 1, Week 7 to Week 8. Milk Base. Let's learn about Making Connections. Hello kids, it's me, Teacher Frel. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And hit the notification bell for the latest video. You can also follow my Facebook page, Teacher Frel TV. For today's lesson in English 6, we will discuss about making connections. For most essential learning competencies, make connections between information viewed and personal experiences. This lesson highlights the context of making connections as a skill in reading or viewing that links what the learners read and viewed to what they already know or experience. This helps readers in comprehending text, passages, videos, and pictures read or viewed by activating prior knowledge and making meaning of what they read or viewed. You are expected to determine images or ideas that are explicitly used to influence viewers or point of view and make connections between information read or viewed and personal experiences. Before we discuss our lesson, let's do first the following activities. Learning Task 1 Copy the table below in your notebook and group the words that shall go together. Then, write proper heading for them based on their existing relationships or connections. So here are the words that we are going to choose for each of the headings. And here are the choices for the groupings. Gardening materials, kitchen materials, school materials, and reading materials. In the first column, our heading is about gardening materials. So what are those words that shall go together that are used for gardening materials? Yes, these words are water sprinkle, shovel, rake, hoe, and spade. Next, in the second column, the heading is about kitchen materials. Now, let us choose those words that shall go together inside the box. Those words that are used for kitchen materials are Frying pan Measuring cup Oven Kitchen knife Casserole And for the last one, the heading is School materials What are those words that is related for school materials? Very good! These are Colored papers Ruler a pair of scissors, writing pens, and glue. Now, let's answer the following questions. How are the words in column 1 connected? In column 1, they are connected with each other because they are materials used for gardening. Next, how are the words in column 2 connected? In column 2, they are connected with each other because they are materials used for cooking. And, how are the words in column 3 connected? In column 3, they are connected with each other because they are materials used in school. For learning task 2, read each statement carefully. Classify them as to text-text connection text self-connection, or text world connection. Write your answer in your notebook. Number 1. The movie Independence Day is almost the same as what is happening in our community today. How do we classify this? Is it to text self, text text, or text world? What is the correct answer? Very good! The correct answer is text world. Number 2. 
This scenario reminds me of my high school days when we used to go to malls after class hours with my friends. Is it text text, text self, or text world? What is the answer? Very good! The answer is text self. Number three, that picture I am looking at reminded me of my primary years where I used to cry before entering my classroom. Is it text self, text text, or text world? Very good! The correct answer is text self. Number four, the message of this portrait depicts the real situation of what is happening now in our nature. Is it text self, text text, or text world? What is the answer? Very good! The answer is text world. Number 5. This text or passage is the same as the lesson we discussed in science about the prevention of the possible spread of coronavirus. Is it text self, text text, or text world? What is the answer? Very good! The correct answer is text text. Number 6. This movie is similar to the passage I read before whose author and editor is the same person. Is it text self, text text, or text world? Very good! The correct answer is text text. Number 7. The video we watch is somewhat the same as what we studied yesterday in mathematics. Is it text self, text text, or text world? Very good! The correct answer is text text. Number 8. The character in the story is similar to my experiences as a working student who was able to assist my parents in sending my other siblings to school until all of us became successful professionals. Is it text self, text text, or text world? What is the correct answer? Very good! The correct answer is text self. Number 9. This incident reminds me of our happy days with our grandparents when they were still alive. Is it text self, text text, or text world? What is the answer? Very good! The correct answer is text self. And for number 10, the news report led me to recall the actual situation that our country is facing now. Is it text self, text text, or text world? What is the answer? Very good! The correct answer is text world. For learning task 3, connect the pictures to the words related to them. Write the letters of your answers in your notebook. Here are the choices. For letter A, symptoms and prevention. B, air pollution by transportation. C, safe and unsafe surrounding. D, do regular hand washing. E, comparison of poor and rich. F, avoid touching your face. And G, observe social distancing. Number 1. What is the correct heading for this picture? Very good! The correct heading is Letter A Symptoms and Prevention Number 2 What is the correct heading for this? Very good! The correct heading is Letter B Air Pollution by Transportation Number 3 What is the correct heading for this? Very good! The correct heading is Letter E Comparison of poor and rich. And for number 4, what is the correct heading for this? Very good! The correct heading is letter C. Safe and unsafe surrounding. There are three ways on how a learner can make connections. The first way is text to self. Text-to-self connections are highly personal connections that a reader makes between a piece of reading material and the reader's own experiences or life. For example, 
This story reminds me of a vacation we took to my grandfather's farm. Another way is text-to-text. Text-to-text connections occur when readers are reminded of what they have read or viewed with other books by the same author, stories from a similar text types, or perhaps on the same topic. Readers gain insight during reading by thinking about how the information they are reading connects to other familiar texts. For example, this character has the same problem that I read about in a story last year. And the third way is text to world. Text to world connections are the larger connections that a reader brings to a reading situation. This allows the reader's ideas about how the world works that goes far beyond own personal experiences. We learn about things through television, movies, magazines, and newspapers. Often, it is the text to world connections that teachers are trying to enhance when they teach lessons in science, social studies, and literature. For example, I saw a program on television that talk about things described in this article. Making connections is truly vital as a comprehension skill since it helps you relate and connect what you heard or read and viewed. Moreover, it enhances your understanding of the text or passages or videos you read or viewed. Let's take this picture as another example for you to understand the competency at hand clearly. Learning Task 4 Examine the picture below, then answer the questions that follow. Write your answers in your notebook. So let's examine the life cycle of a chicken. Let's answer the following questions. What does this remind me of in my life? So for me, my answer is... By reflecting on the chicken's life cycle, I am reminded of my own journey as one of growth, change, and renewal as a person. How will you relate or connect the picture to your growth and development? For me, this can be related to your early challenges such as learning to walk, speak, or even overcoming early obstacles in education or social life. Hatching represents your first steps into independence and self-awareness where you began to emerge as your own person. And for the last question, how is it also connected to what is happening in the world today? For me, the life cycle of a chicken can be seen as a symbol of economic cycles where growth, production, and renewal are vital for economic stability and cultural continuity. This connection highlights the importance of maintaining traditions while also innovating for the future. The picture shows how a chicken grows from eggs to adult chicken. Making connection with self. Like the chicken, I also grew from a baby to a healthy big boy now. And as time goes by, I will continue to grow until I reach the peak of my growth. Making connection to the world Like the chicken, I learned that the earth continues to grow older and time will come. It will be weakened by what we are doing, so we need to take good care of it. And making connection to the text I also learned from one of our lessons in science that even plants grow from young to old. Text to self here are some of the common questions that you can ask in connecting personal experience to what you read or viewed. What does this remind me of something in my life? What is this similar to in my life? How is this different from my life? Has something like this ever happened to me? How does this relate to my life? What were my feelings when I read this? Have I changed my thinking as a result of reading this? What have I learned? Are there similarities and differences in my life, my family, my friends, holidays I have been on, 
things I have seen, experiences, feelings I have had, and a place I have been. Next is text to text. Here are some of the common questions that you can ask in connecting text, picture, or video you read or viewed to another text. What does this remind me of in another book, picture, video I've read, or viewed? How is this text, picture, video similar to other things I've read or viewed? How is this different from other books, text, picture, videos I've read or viewed? Have I read about something like this before? Are there similarities or differences in topic, theme, message, plot, character, fact, opinion, information, and vocabulary. And text to world. Connecting real world happening to text. What does this remind me of in the real world? How is this text similar to things that happen in the real world? How is this different from things that happen in the real world? How did that part relate to the world around me? Are there similarities or differences in current events, local situation, news story, daily conversation, etc.? Point of view In establishing connections, understanding point of view is also important. Remember that point of view can be in the first person, second person, or third person. First person is used when I or we are used in persuading people. For example, when I used this shampoo, it made my hair the softest and the shiniest of all. Second person, the story or advertisement is told by you. For example, you can have a long shiny black hair once you use his shampoo daily. Third person, the story or advertisement is told about he or she. For example, she has the shiniest and the longest hair ever with this shampoo. And now, let us read this article. The title is, Bounce Back. Typhoon Ambo, the first typhoon in 2020, has brought heavy rains and strong winds that made the denuded and low-lying areas covered with floods. Some properties were destroyed, leaving people with nothing but hunger. Most of them were from Region 4A Calabarzon, especially those from the southern part of Quezon who were hit by this typhoon with the classification of TSWS Signal No. 3. This typhoon damaged not only their properties but even their sources of living. Their crops were washed out. Houses and even livestock were greatly affected. Yet, they were strong and pliant people who remained positive amidst this catastrophic event brought by this natural calamity. Consequently, their faith in the most powerful creator remained supreme, believing that they could recover in the soonest possible time in this true test of their well-being. Finally, they repaired their houses and other properties and regained control of their livestock and crops. For learning task 5, in your notebook, complete the activity sheet below by showing connections between your personal experiences and the context of the story read. In the text, discuss or state a part of the previous text you read that are related to your experiences in terms of the calamity mentioned. For example, the people in the text experience a strong typhoon. In my life, what does this event remind me in my life? For example, this reminded me of my experience when our place was hit by the same typhoon that brought worries to me because of the strong wind that almost destroyed our roofs. And here are my answers. Typhoon Ambo, the first typhoon in 2020, has brought heavy rains and strong winds 
that made the denuded and low-lying areas covered with floods. What does this event remind me in my life? This typhoon reminded me of my experience when our country was hit by Typhoon Ondoy, which brought flooding to our area. Some properties were destroyed, leaving people with nothing but hunger. What is this similar to in my life? A typhoon could be similar to significant challenges or turbulent periods in my life. This typhoon damaged not only their properties but even their sources of living. How is this different from my life? My life is continuous with each moment building on the previous one. While I may experience storms in my life, they are just parts of the ongoing narrative of your existence. Learning Task 6 Study the pictures below then complete the task in your notebook by showing connections with your personal experiences. The scenic view of the rice field. It suits and brightens the feeling of a tired farmer every time he will see the beauty of his hard work. Its greenery and fresh air truly wipes away all his worries. In the text, discuss or state a part of the text above that are related to your experiences. So in the text, the scenic view of the rice field. What does this event remind me in my life? This reminds me of the calmness and peace of mind I feel when I am alone with Christ. In the text, it suits and brightens the feeling of a tired farmer every time he will see the beauty of his hard work. What is this similar to in my life? This is similar to my life because when you are with Christ, you have nothing to worry about regarding the future. In the text, its greenery and fresh air truly wipes away all his worries. How is this different from my life? There is no difference in my life because the greenery and fresh air of the farm are just as comforting as being comforted by God. For learning task 7, read and analyze the text below. In your notebook, write its connection to your personal experiences, to your community, or to the world by completing the table below. The Global Pandemic Recently, the globe was alarmed with the outbreak of the new coronavirus, known as COVID-19. This posed alarm to all the inhabitants of the earth. At present, it continues to affect millions of people, weakening their immune system. No vaccine is yet discovered, so people are advised to stay indoor and observe minimum health protocols set by the World Health Organization or WHO. This doesn't only affect people's health, but so with great economic losses among the countries it hits, resulting to unemployment, hunger, debt toll, and increase in prices of prime commodities making humans to suffer. Let's answer the columns. What is the selection's connection to me? During the pandemic, I couldn't go outside to play or buy something at the store because I might catch the virus. What is the selection's connection to my community? During the pandemic, our community was very quiet. No vehicles, no people around, just the checkpoints. And what is the selection's connection to the world? All over the world, the coronavirus has been spreading. Many people have died and gotten sick because of this virus. Learning Task 8 Study the picture below. Think of its connection to you, your community, and the world. Write your answers in your notebook. What is the picture's connection to me? After the pandemic, I feel like a growing plant. No matter what situation I encounter, there is always a new chapter in my life. What is the picture's connection to my community? After the pandemic, 
our community was still in the process of learning how to stay safe even when outside the house. Eventually, the community returned to normal. And what is the picture's connection to the world? The WHO also learned the process of ensuring safety leading to fewer deaths and more growth, like plants, by providing people with vaccines to protect them from viruses. For learning task 9, study the picture below, read a short passage, then answer the questions that follow. Write your answers in your notebook. Mother Earth is continuously dying due to so much pollution caused by humans. Global temperature rises due to much chlorofluorocarbons or CFs that are emitted to the atmosphere by varied human activities like the release of toxic wastes coming from factories and vehicles, use of aerosol materials coming from varied sprays, and others harmful activities. For the first question, what does this phenomenon remind you in your life? My answer is, this phenomenon reminds me of the importance of taking care of Mother Earth. Second question, what experience is similar to your life experiences? My answer is, I experience how the city of Manila is filled with smoke because of vehicles that emit dark exhaust. Third question, how is this different from your life? My answer is, I take care of myself, but Mother Earth should be taken care of by all of us. Fourth question, has something like this ever happened to you? My answer is, no. Fifth question, how does this relate to your life? My answer is, during the time that I didn't take care of my personal hygiene, I developed body odor and no one wanted to play with me. So I started changing my habits and cleaning myself more regularly. Sixth question, what were your feelings when you see and read this text? My answer is, I felt sad. And for number seven, have you changed your thinking as a result of seeing and reading this? My answer is, yes. For learning task 10, study the picture below, read the short text, then answer the questions on the next page. Write your answers in your notebook. A tribute to frontliners. Most of the countries were shocked by the spread of new contagion that has affected millions of people. This is the COVID-19 that has posed serious threats to human health across the globe. Consequently, our doctors, nurses, uniformed personnel, volunteers, and concerned individuals have courageously fought to prevent the spread of this pandemic even risking their lives for the sake of mankind. They are called frontliners, our modern-day heroes. They have responded to the call of their duties even with lack of personal protective equipment. Finally, their bravery deserved to be applauded and recognized. Salute to you, dearest frontliners! And now, answer the following questions. What does this phenomenon remind you in your life? Number two, what experience is similar to your life experiences? Number three, how is this different from your life? Number four, has something like this ever happened to you? Five, how does this relate to your life? Six, what were your feelings when you saw and read this text? And seven, have you changed your thinking as a result of seeing and reading this? Kids, this is your time to answer the following questions. Making connections is a skill in reading or viewing that links what the learners read and viewed to what they already know or experience. This helps them comprehend text, passages, videos, and pictures read or viewed by activating their prior knowledge and making meaning of what they read or viewed. There are three ways on how a learner can make connections. 
First, text to self. Of course, when we make connection between personal experience and the text. Second, text to text. Of course, when we make connections between other texts and the text we are reading. And third, text to world. Of course, when we relate the text with what we already know about the world. For learning task 11, complete each prompt by supplying the needed information. Use the text attribute to frontliners as your reference. Number 1. Every time I watch a movie showing sacrifices and heroism like what our frontliners did, I remember. Number 2. The act of heroism of frontliners is like my life because. And for number 3. The frontliners remind me of my neighbors because. Learning Task 12. Complete each prompt by supplying the needed information. Use the picture and the text below as your reference. Write your answers in your notebook. The Earth's condition is worsening due to indiscriminate activities of humans. Their overt attitude towards the improper utilization of the natural resources truly harm the environment, thus creating ecological imbalance and global chaos. Number 1. This picture is like blank because... And number 2. The picture's message is like our lesson in blank because... So answer the following. And for learning task 13, complete each prompt by supplying the needed information. Use the picture below as your reference. Write your answers in your notebook. Number 1. I saw something like this when I watch or read name of TV programs, title of news article, title of video watch like documentaries. And what I know is... For number 2, this reminds me of something that happened before such as blank. Remember... Making connections is a skill in reading or viewing that links what the learners read and viewed to what they already know or experience. This helps them comprehend text, passages, videos, and pictures read or viewed by activating their prior knowledge and making meaning of what they read or viewed. There are three ways on how a learner can make connections. First, text to self. Of course, when we make connections between personal experience and the text. Second, text to text. Of course, when we make connections between other texts and the text we are reading. And third, text to world. Of course, when we relate the text with what we already know about the world. So kids, do you understand our lesson for today? Wow! Good job! Kids, I hope you learn a lot from this lesson. Until our next topic, bye-bye kids! Thanks for watching!